Are you gonna be hosting overnight guests or extended guests in your home this summer? Well, hi, my name is Tamala, and you're watching Designing with Hope on Design, designing for the home, body, and soul. Now, in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you some tips on how to create that hotel experience for your guests. So, stay tuned, don't wanna miss out. Okay, now, the first thing I said inside of my welcome box is this little white tray that I picked up from Ikea. And for those who travel, I'm sure these little samples look very familiar to you. These are hotel samples. So when I'm traveling myself, I always ask for additional samples because I know that I'm going to need these samples to give to my guests when they come and stay at my home. So if you notice, you have just your um, shampoo, conditioner, mouthwash, and body lotion. And then I've also included a bath bar soap. Now this is the first thing that I set inside of my hotel welcome box. Now the next thing I set inside of my hotel welcome box is this loofah sponge. A lot of people like to bathe with these instead of towels, so I always make sure to have an extra of these on hand. And if you notice, I try to color coordinate my hotel welcome box. And of course, people always have the tendency to forget their toothpaste, so I always keep an extra tube of toothpaste for my guests. And then you also have some people that like to bathe with a brush. So I always make sure to have extra brushes on hand. And again, I try to keep my hotel welcome box color coordinated. Deodorant, you always going to need deodorant. And I always try to make sure to get deodorant that both men and women can use. Body scrub. And this is perfect too because some people like to do a spa-like treatment when they're um, staying out of town. So I always like to make sure that I have some extra body scrub on hand. Eye mask. Now this is perfect for those that have been traveling long hours on a plane or in a car. So when they're relaxing in the tub, they can place this over their eyes. Shower cap, and like I said, I always ask for extra samples of shower caps when I stay at a hotel. I always like to provide a large bottle of lotion for my guests. And this empty container here, I picked up a whole bag of these from the Dollar Tree. And the reason why I incorporate these into my hotel welcome box because sometimes people bring a large quantity of some of their bath items and they don't want to have to keep pulling that big bottle out. So I just provide them with some empty cups with lids so that way they can just transport some of their favorite bath items over into this item and then they don't have to worry about transporting the big box or bottle back and forth. And also, I created these tags here. Now, if you want me to do a DIY video on how to make these tags, just comment below. Now, if you notice in the hotels, they have little signage that says, if you want to have your towels laundered, then place them on the ground. Or, if you want to keep them, then just hang them up. Well, I don't like to see towels on the ground, so I provide these tags for my guests. And so, for the towels that they want to keep, they just simply place this over the towel, and for the towels that they need laundered, they just simply place these over the towel. And that is how I create my hotel welcome kit. Now, plush bath towels are another way to create that hotel experience for your guests. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to put a designer touch to your bath towels. Now I'm gonna show you how to add a designer touch to your guest bath towels. Now there's gonna be two things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a fingertip towel and you want to make sure that your fingertip towel has some sort of decorative element to it. And you're also going to want to get a large bath towel. Now you can choose whatever color or pattern that you like on your bath towel. I just happen to like decorating or providing my guests with white plush bath towels. Now, the first thing you want to do, you want to decide which side of the bath towel you want to display. I obviously want to display the side that has the pattern. So then you'll simply take your bath towel and you fold it the opposite way 
And reason being because you want to make sure that your um, tag is going to be on the inside of the fold. So you fold it in half and then you fold it this way and you see where the tag is going to stay inside of the fold and then you will fold it again this way. Now you want to flip it over because you want to find the opening. So you'll just peel back this side and then here it's going to show the side with the pattern and that's the side that I want to show. Then let's set this aside. You'll take your fingertip towel and then you want to fold the fingertip towel. First you lay it flat, make sure the pattern is on the bottom and then you want to fold it a third way where the pattern is or the emblem and then you want to flip it over and you want to fold it halfway in this way and halfway in on the other way and then you'll turn it over this way and here you have a way to uh, fold your fingertip towel. Now you'll go ahead and you'll take your bath towel and then you'll simply insert your fingertip towel inside of this flap right here and here you've added a designer touch to your guest bath towels. Now the last item you're going to need in order to create a hotel experience for your guests and that is the staple piece, a white robe. Now if you notice I have hung this white robe on a wooden hanger because that's going to give the robe more of a classy and sophisticated feeling and also I picked up this over the door hook from Ross and that's going to give more storage for my guests to be able to hang their robe and also their bath towels. Now. If you look closely, I've made another one of those tags, except this time it says welcome, because I always want my guests to feel welcomed in my home. Now hopefully you guys were able to get some valuable tips on how to create a hotel experience for your guests. So now, thanks again for watching Designing with Hope on Design. Designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye!